Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Mechtfy Mercenaries. I'm Computer, and last episode I played around in this beauty. It's a Hunchback 2C, which means it's clan tech, and it has two UAC-20s without barrels still, and then two medium pulse lasers, and that's all you get. But then again, that means it runs extremely cool. So you don't have any kind of heat problems. Then again, the mission I did last episode was on a snow planet, and that might affect things in Merc Tech. Not sure. The only real issue is you don't have any kind of peripheral vision in this mech. So you rely on the radar a lot, which in this game is no problem at all. But uh, yeah, those AC-20s are beasts. Then again, I only fought against, like, mostly light and medium mechs, and they went down in, like, two or three shots at the most, and then we had two heavies at the end. But, uh, I digress. For now, Rihanna has something to tell us about the next mission, I expect. Hi, Commander. Hello. We're getting stronger every day. One or two more contracts, and we'll be ready to confront Black Inferno head on. The reason I called you up here is that Spears has contacted me again. He wants to talk with you directly. Since he's in the same system we are, I can patch him through in real time. Spears, I've got the commander here. Hello. Go ahead. Commander, good to see you again. I haven't thanked you personally yet for your excellent work on taking down Inferno Salvage Facility. That was quite the haul for both of us, but it was just a stepping stone on the way to a far more important objective, which is taking down Inferno and holding the two men responsible for your father's death to account. The two men? That's right. Andreas Kane may have been the one who fired the fatal shot that killed your father, but it was Comstar, at the behest of Kenzo Yamada, who directed him to do so. Yamada is just as responsible for what happened to your father as Kane, if not more so. They'll both pay for what they did. As they should. No doubt Rihanna has explained there's no love lost between Interstellar Expeditions and Comstar. That's true. I was willing to do what I could to help you before I knew that Comstar hired Inferno. I'm even more motivated now. And to that end, I'd like to propose a partnership. Working hand in hand, we can take down Inferno and Kane. Then go after Comstar and Yamada. What do you think? I think it's good to have powerful friends, especially ones you can trust. And you've definitely proven that. You've earned my trust as well, Commander, just like your father did years ago. I wouldn't have made this offer otherwise. Rihanna says you're almost strong enough to go after Inferno's main base of operations. I can help make you even stronger. There's a Merc group that have gone rogue. Down on their luck and unable to garner any legitimate contracts. They struck out on their own, and they hit one of House Karita's weapons facilities. A smash and grab. The weapons they were able to steal are now in the black market. I've unearthed where those weapons are being stored. How the hell did you do that? Ask no questions and I'll tell no lies, Commander. The important thing is, we can both benefit from taking these rogues down and seizing the weapons for ourselves. Call it an investment in our future together. I've sent Rihanna all the pertinent details. Okay, sounds good. We'll talk soon, Commander. Good luck. Looks like all our hard work is finally paying off. While you get us where we need to go, I'll prepare the mission briefing for the raid. Copy that. That all sounds good. We have a transmission, I believe. Right, blood and treasure. I'm not going to talk about it yet, although that's a lot of money. Again, very nice. And instead, I'm going to pause right here and start uh, gathering some more money, some more new mechs and uh, weapons and reputation. I'm hoping to be able to pick up at least an Annihilator and the Kaiju would be really nice. Yeah, so with that, I'm going to pause recording and I'll see you in a little bit. And that went almost entirely according to plan. I found a kaiju as well as a bounty hunter marauder, which feels really nice, and a heavy metal, and a Sleipner, I believe you're called. The Cyclops S, the hero version at any rate. I have equipped most of them with clan tech, but I've realized that clan tech runs very hot. 
So you might not be able to fit the same amount of weapons and the cooling needed to, you know, cool them down, etc. But, uh, yeah, uh, something that did not go according to plan, though, is that I feel like I'm very low on funds. Not really, of course, but enough that I'm anxious about it. And I'm not at level 15 yet, but it shouldn't be more than one or two campaign missions for that. Uh, and I also didn't find an Annihilator. In fact, I don't think I've seen a single Annihilator on the mech market this entire game so far. So, yeah, I want one, but uh, they are being withheld from me. It's very unfair. And, yeah, we have an enforcer here as well. Two medium lasers, small laser, Gauss rifle. Look like good in the early game if you can afford it. Though, in the early game, you might not be able to pick up ammo for the Gauss rifle. Hmm, yeah, maybe, maybe. Speaking of which, hold on. Uh, I, there was something else. Let's go to you. Load out, thank you. Get rid of you, and I believe I should have... There you are. I was wrong. There is caseless ammo in the game. It just doesn't show up on the market until somewhere around 3050, I think. Very late in the game. Whereas you can find caseless uh, ACs very early. And I think maybe that's... Uh, like they're testing the caseless uh, weapons, maybe? Although that wouldn't make any sense. Why would they give you the weapons to test them if you can't test them without the ammo? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, the ammo does exist and it's in the game, so there is that. I still want an Annihilator, though. But I digress. For now, we have a transmission. Blood and Treasure. The rogue mercenary group we're going after are known as the Death's Legion. Uh, not the same as the Grey Death Legion, I don't think. According to Spears, they're storing the captured weapons on a planet called Grumium. With a name like that, I imagine it's not a very popular place. Spears' intelligence suggests these mercs are well armed, and considering the heist they just pulled off, I'd say that's a safe bet. They'll likely have heavy mech support as well, Commander, so make sure you go in prepared for an extended fight. We'll need to eliminate the entire enemy force and locate the weapons for the salvage team to recover later. Alright, so... Not quite a raid, not quite a war zone, probably. Yeah, but we're getting... I think that might even be the exact reputation I need to get to 15. And we're getting a lot of money and question marks. Hmm. Intriguing. Where do we need to go though? And again, it doesn't... I don't know. No, that's the wrong button, but it, it works, I suppose. And yeah, do I have everything repaired? Not quite you, but uh, you'll be repaired by the time we get there, so it's all fine. Wow, that was some graphical lag. Hmm, haven't really seen that before. Cantina, let's pick up... Uh, I mean, 8 point, uh, 1.8 million just to kill some stuff. Perfectly fine. Chemical lasers. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And contracts. Campaign. A rogue mercenary group known as Death's Legion have struck a Kurita weapons facility and stolen various arms and armaments. They're storing them on a planet called Grumium. Your mission is to get to the planet, eliminate the entire enemy force, and clear the way for our salvage team to recover the merchandise. These mercenaries will likely have heavy mech support, so expect an extended fight. You repeat yourself, or maybe she repeated your words, I don't know. And we're going to go with money, because I feel even lighter now. Iron Oxide Biome, poor visibility at dawn, and we get a hazard pay, but it's not a lot. Alright. Campaign, difficulty 80, 360 recommended tonnage. And they're outlaws as well. The mission area is under heavy weather warning. 
It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Yes, thank you. Very good. These will not do, I don't think. Also, why am I using myself? Like, Commander Mason, he has only 60, well, 54, which is more than most others, but uh, I think I can do a little bit better. 12, 11, 12, 12. As max, as in uh, not what's actually being used right now. 15 defense, but wait, defense skill doesn't actually work with Merc Tech, I don't think, maybe? 12, 10, um, so far you, but uh, for now, let's look a little further. Oh, I need to fire you, you have 9 avoidance. 13, 11... 11, 11, 15. Heck. That's good. 11, 11, 10. Or 13 avoidance. And 10 in rest. 12, 12, 12. 10, 10, 10. Yeah. And everyone else. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah that'll be fine. What do I want to play around with, though? Um, okay, I need to fix the ammo on you two, and you. But for now, let's... I want support, and I also... Yes, you're being repaired, that's why. Got it. Okay, uh, you still have a problem with your ammo. Rearm and repair. Very good. There, and now this one has LRM 20s, LRM 15s, and then medium pulse lasers. Those might actually make it very much harder than it should be. Yeah, this could be a very hot mech, and not in a good way. Let's see, what else what do we have? Um, kind of want to play around with the Warhammer, maybe, and Bounty Hunter needs more ammo. There you are. there and actually do I, I want the bounty hunter and then another marauder yeah another marauder 305 we're way below all right all right all right fine uh we can take a 90 ton mech or a 90 ton mech or a 90 ton mech or any of four hundred tonners uh, well, these are all more or less untested for me. And they all have Gauss. No, you don't have Gauss rifles. But I'm worried you're very, very warm. Even though you have double cooling in you, but, um... I'm really worried about you. In fact... So I'm going to play around with it a little bit more and test it before taking it into proper battle. And because of that, I think we're going to take the UAC 20s because I do know this one can do a lot of damage. And the 5D also has a problem with... No, it shouldn't have. It does. All right, sure. There, we're still under tonnage. So, taking the Highlander, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna, I still wanna play around with this, see if it's, you know, as hot as I think it is. And, yeah. And then if, I don't like the way it's playing around. I can jump into the King Crab, the car. Well, maybe. We'll see. I forgot to see how much, how many tons we have now. We're probably still going in light. Maybe. Oh, hello. We are being attacked already. Thank you. 
yes. Oh, I'm really warm. I'll avoid saying I'm hot because... Alright. We have fireworks. King Crab. The one thing I hate... Mm, hate is a strong word. The one thing I'm annoyed at with the Gauss Rifle is... The heat effect. This one. Okay, why are you focusing on him? Fireworks. And more fireworks. But yeah, because of this uh, heat distortion from the Gauss rifle, you really can't aim after... well... For about two seconds afterwards, I suppose. Reach hidden hideout. What we have. Your presence, I'm oh. seeing multiple tangos on scope converging on your current position. All right, we can repair at least. But, oh, wow, that's... Please, better spawns mode soon, maybe? Nope. Um, no, there we go. You're not in the ground, thankfully. Stop screaming! I did hit it. Good. We have a medium mech. Did I even hit? No. No, it wasn't. I shot him in the back. The safest way. What's with that? I don't even know if I hit until after. Yeah, it's. And God help you if you have two of them. So, yeah, on balance, I believe I prefer the AC-20s, or even better, UAC-20s. Okay. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. 
Speaking of which, um, oh, I guess we can play around with you a little bit. What do we have? We have two assaults and a heavy. Look here. Uh, I don't think I'm the one who hit it. Don't open that door. And now I'm also unbalanced. Thank you, King Crab. You are ever so helpful. Hello. And hell okay, that was just a building. Well, that's not gonna do much. You're smoking. And not in also not in a good way. You know what? A stalker. Uh no, never mind. I want you over there. I guess I could heal or repair. Yeah, let's do that. But, um... Marauder, why are you just standing there? Did I get a hit in the... Yeah. Fine, that should... Yeah, now you're walking again, good. Thank you, not quite. That thing's gonna kill all of us. Oh, I'm at 140. I should bug out for a little bit. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Well, it's looking this way. I think that should be fine. Almost. Okay, wait, hold on. Um, please. Can I shoot? Wait, it shoots automatically for me now? Almost. Alright, we are gonna go ahead and leave now. Oh, we're right there. Never mind. I think... No, it was already set to chain fire. But it didn't actually do it. Dropship on 
Bye. Yeah, normally you can just shoot a single shot with the UACs uh, and then like just keep one in case of emergencies, if you will. But um, this time, whenever I shot, it shot both shots immediately. So maybe that was because I was kept switching mechs all the time. That can mess things up quite a bit. And we can get an LRM 10. Yay. Actually, yes, that's a lot of money now that I think about it. Stop doing that. I'm also going to get that. Um, sure, why not? Why not indeed? No comments and a lot of money. Damage taken a little over. Excellent. We have skill ups. It's all good. Wait, did you get three skill ups? Nice. And it, I took most damage, apparently. Nothing like thieving from thieves to boost your mercenary cred, eh, Commander? You should have seen Fahad poring over the merchandise you seized. He was like a kid in a candy store. Smile as wide as an atlas. Atlases don't smile. Anyway, um, hell, he even stopped bitching for a few hours, if you can believe that. No. Fahad says we were able to pick up an LB-10X and a couple of Gauss rifles in the deal. Should come in handy. Well, I disagree. The remaining gear has been inventoried and shipped out already, thanks to Spears people. As for us, we just got a little stronger, exactly what we were hoping to do. At this stage, whatever, uh, whatever edge we can muster before assaulting Inferno's base of operation is critical to our success. After all, battles are won and lost on the tiniest of margins, Commander. But hey, we can discuss these things later. Right now, get some rest. And we did indeed get an LB-10X, Tier 3, and two Gauss Rifles, Tier 2, and ammo for both. And reputation and money. And yes, there we go. I am now mythical. Your reputation across the inner sphere is growing. Potential employers are inquiring about your services, and new employment opportunities have become available on the star map. Not likely. I don't think there are any... Never mind. Um, job rewards, though. Define Sipus and Lead Sings. Sure. Yeah, uh, there was just a lot to do there, but uh, that's because of speaking to Fahad and the, that job. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there are any high reward quests that require you to be level 15. And I think the only campaign mission that requires you to be level 15 is also the last mission. Crucible, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, Fahad wants to speak to me as well, and he's right there. His comments usually are not about the next mission, so I think it's safe to just listen to him now. My commander. Those weapons you picked up were the dog's bollocks, mate. Top shelf. That LB-10X, she's a beauty. I haven't seen one of them in ages. Might have limited range, but she makes a wallop, eh? Checked her over, gave her a little loving. It's like she just came off the factory floor. You're going to appreciate having that auto cannon strapped to your mech, I'll tell you that. Well, going to get back to it. Want to make sure everything's sorted for our big day. Taking down Inferno. Can't bleed in weight bloody wankers all right that last bit felt like it was recorded on a, uh, on a different day but yeah i'm gonna have to reevaluate how i do things with these mechs oh wait hold on all oh, right you have standard ammo that's why it didn't cost so much one i'm getting rid of the gauss rifle even though it runs a extremely cool I mean this was not enough double heat sinks let that thing sink in for a little bit also I think I might want to yeah get a remove the gauss rifle put in an AC20 or UAC20 rather and hmm do I have enough clan double heat sinks to do this 
On the other hand, clan double heat sinks don't actually, like, yes, they take up less space, but they are just as efficient as double heat sinks. So, if I don't have the tonnage, actually, no, no, now that I think about it, if I put in different armor, that could free up seven slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it'll... Hmm. I can get rid of this and then put in uh, clan double heat sinks. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this. Um, maybe large lasers instead of PPCs? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm just gonna have to think about it. Um, for now, let's just repair. All right, we're over there, and we cannot travel because we need to talk to Rayana, which we'll do next episode. But, yeah. The only one that actually performed well was the Stalker, basically. Um, but then again, I forgot to tell it to keep range, so... It mostly used its lasers. Actually, hold on. There, no, not painting. Loading. Something I do want to try eventually. I do have arrows, but I don't think it's very wise to put that in the hands of the... of the AI. I think that's something I want to play around with. Maybe they're, well, they weigh 15 tons and damage per missile default is 200. Whereas the damage per missile in an LRM-20 is 1.2. Not 1.2 thousand, 1.2 versus 200. Like set an arrow IV where under the dropship, the enemy's dropship, as they're dropping the enemies, and you're probably going to take out any light or even medium mechs in the bunch, maybe, if you're lucky. Uh, but we also have ATMs. Advanced tactical missile system that can fire ER, standard, and high explosive ammo. Do I even have any of that ammo? No, not big stats. Thank you, though. Um, that's LRMs. If I do this, I should be able to see which... Okay, never mind. Okay, I don't have any ammo for the ATMs. Got it. That's unfortunate. MMLs, MRMs. I do have NARCs. Prototype rocket launchers as well. Uh, rockets are not reliable, though. Fine. Uh, yeah, let's just rearm you for now. And also, this one with the AOC-20 is very reliable indeed. It also ran very hot, so maybe downgrade the LRMs to 10s, maybe? Or, well, SRMs could be a good idea as well. But then again, I don't have any space to add other things, like more heat sinks. Unless... well, let's try it. Oh, on the other hand, I did talk about how... Um, heat per missile, 0 0.4 and a normal LRM-10. Uh, Mark 1, heat per missile also 0 0.4. Never mind then. They don't actually run hotter. Where are you? There. And then I can do this, maybe. Cooling is all, uh, cooling per second is almost beating uh, 
heat generation per second now. Almost. But I think I think that's gonna have to be that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe drop some tons of LRM ammo. That could be a thing I could do. Maybe. You are also probably a little bit hot. Oh, anyway, that's something I'm going to have to think about uh, before next episode. But yeah, not entirely sure like if the game is getting easier or harder right now. One, because I have all of this clan tech, it feels a little bit easier, but... The missions are also getting a little bit more intense. And you're getting, like, we got hit from two different directions this mission. And all of the enemies just instantly spawned all around us, rather than coming in on dropships as well. So that's something. But anyway, with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Mechfire Mercenaries, Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.